Hey guys, welcome back to Colorado Springs Small Engine Repair. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, it's, usually I do vlog style stuff, but today I'm just going to put out a video on how to restring a chainsaw. A customer brought it to me and of course the, the line broke, pulled the cord out and they need to get it restringed. So let me show you how to do that. The dreaded pull string came out of the chainsaw. I'm going to show you how to restring a chainsaw. It's not as bad as you think. Just need to take off the side cover. And actually on this one, you got, I think you got to take off the top cover too. All right, so you just remove those four and that comes off. So this is the, the piece that does the recoil. Don't, don't take this thing off. You take that off and the spring that's underneath here, uh, good luck getting it back in. Uh, it's not fun. So we just need to pull the existing string out if there is any left. I don't think there is. Let's see. You can see it right there. Well, I might have lied on this one. You might have to take this piece off. Ugh. Scary. Scary stuff. Yeah, it looks like it goes into the center and you gotta tie it. All right, we're going into the crazy unknown. Well, not unknown for me, but right. take this little centerpiece off. You wanna make sure that it's, it's free, it's not catching. All right, this one actually has a little backing piece that it sits on. And you can see here, there's like little catches and that's what catches the spring right there. All right, cool. So yeah, we can see where it broke. You can see what we, how we need to redo it here. Get some new string. Gonna feed it through there. I like to burn the edge, the edge, the end. Get it nice and hot. Take my fingers, make it so it's a nice little point at the end. So that way you can feed it through the center. At least I'm thought it was going to. Doesn't want to go through that little hole. Let's heat it up again.
Almost. Just gotta work it in there. And get a little pair of pliers and grab it. And then just tie a knot in it. And you want to pull that knot pretty tight. Get it pulled back in there. And then you just got to trim this tail up. You don't want that hanging out. I mean, it'll hang out a little, but you don't want that much. Might be time for new scissors. Yeah, I need new scissors. Okay, should be a good knot, should hold. All right, next we're gonna put it back on there. All right, so with that in there, uh, one thing I like to do is actually grease this up a little bit. I'm almost out of grease, but. Just make it so everything slides around and moves around a little bit easier especially when that spring. But then you just take this. There's an actual arrow on this. You just wrap the string around it just a few times. Um, I took the existing string and um, actually uh, cut it to length. Actually, a little bit long. You want to... You want it a little bit long. You want to leave yourself some, uh, I don't know if I'm getting in the video there. Sorry. You want to sleep a little bit extra. So you wrap it around to get it around. You don't want it sticking up above the plastic. And then again, in the bottom here is these grooves and the grooves got to fit into this, into the spring. And then you also got to take the line and feed it out the housing. So feed it out the housing. And look where the spring is at. Look where your piece is at. And set it on there. And you just kind of move it until it drops in. And you just take your screw and washer and put it back in. Now you don't want to crank this too tight. You want to tighten it, but don't crank it too tight. So now you got this. It's just hanging out. That's in there. So you should be able to pull kind of pull it and work it so that grease is getting in everything. You see it, it just naturally stops right there. Pull it to start it. It comes, it retracts all the way back in. So you got plenty of extra out here to um, tie your knot that will go through the handle. So you feed it through there. But before I even do that, let's put it back on the saw. move you so you can see. There we go. Move some 
stuff out of the way. Don't need all that. string is pretty much trash I don't think I can I wouldn't even reuse that for anything it's trash all right so you see we got a lot hanging out it's pulling it's engaging oh there goes the lid there it is. set that out of the way all right, so what we want to do now is we want to tie the handle off. How much? You got to get through that little hole in there too. Uh, I might have to burn the end again. Make it so it's not so wide. Make it as thin as possible that there it goes and then we're going to tie it off so that the handle pulls back tight and you can tell right here that's find the end of the road of the of the string so it needs to be way down there so kind of get it on there get yourself a little pair of like vice grips or something kind of get it where you want it and then pull the cord out and clamp it so it won't go back in. Of course, you got to adjust your clamp right in the middle of it, all right? Too loose. So that's going to keep it from going in. We know we want it right about here. So the knot needs to be there. I'm going to pull it down. And we'll make a knot. Should be about right there. I'm just going to tie one right now. Put it back in there. And it's right there. So we'll test it. And you see it retracts back in each time right there. Pretty good. So we'll just pull the string back up a little bit. We'll make a second knot because we do not want this sucker to come undone. Again, pull that pretty tight. Still happy where it's landing, so that's good. So now we can get my dull scissors back out. <laughs> and we'll cut right above it. Give it the old lighter treatment, just so it doesn't fray and go everywhere. And that's how you restring a chainsaw. Pretty easy, isn't it? All right, not too bad of a job. The only part that's sketchy about the whole thing that you got to worry about is you do not want that spring to come out from its little area that it sits in. Because when that thing comes out, it's virtually impossible to get it back in. I'm sure the manufacturers have some secret of how they do it. Um, you can see other YouTube videos out there on how to get the spring to wind up. And 
yeah. I've only had to do it like once or twice and it's painful and it's a pain and you just, yeah. I don't, no, no other words. So um, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. Um, I thank you for watching. And if uh, like this video, subscribe, join our Discord server, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.